Hello and welcome guys. Today we are going to learn about Kubernetes auto scaling. In Kubernetes we can configure two auto scaling. One is VPA and another one is HPA. If you are a cloud admin you would already know what is auto scaling. Uh, and in my situation if I give you an example uh, what auto scaling is. So let's bring up my the virtual machine setup which is virtual box I'm running and in there I'm running three virtual machine the first one master other two are nodes which is currently working as a worker node right so in all the three nodes I have allocated two GB of memory and two CPU right so now I'm going to run a lot of application in this cluster in the future right and when I'm going to run them it may require more memory or more CPU right so what will going to happen I'm going to come to this portion in this virtual box manager and I'm going to manually increase the CPU and manually increase the memory as far my requirement right so that is how I'm going to do it so similarly if you have configured auto scaling in Kubernetes uh, which is HPA for now at least I'm going to show you what is going to happen when there is a load in your cluster or the application port that you are trying to access it would automatically going to scale up it is automatically going to spin up some more port to balance the load so that is how the HPA work right so let's go ahead and configure the HPA first and we would uh, going to understand why it requires when I showed you in uh, in a practical way right so let's go ahead and run kubectl get node command first and there is a three nodes uh, like I showed you already and if I run a watch command against all wide all namespaces I can see there is nothing much running the the dashboard and one metric server running right and one prerequisite side which is your metric server in order to configure HPA you need to make sure your metric server is up and running this is a prerequisite side why because when I run kubectl top node I can see the output of my uh, utilization of my CPU and also memory right so basically when I'm going to configure an HPA HPA will uh, going to look into this statistics and from this it will try to uh, spin up or terminate the port so that is why your metric server is very much important when you are configuring HPA so make sure you configure metric server before you uh, configure HPA I have already prepared one video just before this one and I given the link in the description area you would able to see and learn how to configure metric server okay so let's go ahead and try to configure the met, uh, the HPF now I have a file let's go ahead and bring up that file which is PHP Apache deployment and I will open this file scroll it up to the top here you can see the kind is deployment which is going to deploy a PHP Apache application and this is the image I'm using let's scroll it down there is one more kind which is service and I'm exposing the service with 30,000 port and this is a type this is the one service type which is not what I'm using in order to access this application from outside right so let's save this file and run kubectl let's run this and let me see if there's an SPG or okay so there's nothing let's create kubectl minus f php deployment file okay so let's run this okay so now you can see there is one pod is coming up php apache and also one service created let's do kubectl get svc and you can see it is exposed to 30,000 like I mentioned in the YAML file and type is not port 
excellent so now let's go ahead and access this site which is currently running on node 1 and this is my IP if I bring my uh, web interface and here you can see this is what I tested earlier 30,000 and this is my node let's try to access and see if I can okay so I can access it and it is giving an ok output so let's go ahead to the to my terminal again and now let's create the HPA you can be able to create HPA in two way with YAML file or you can also be able to create it with command line so let's run with the command line first auto scale deployment file PHP and you have to specify minimal replicas you are going to have it and also maximum replicas I'm going to set is set it as 5 for now at least right and minimal is 1 if you do not specify the CPU percent what would going to happen it would going to default create and set it for 80 percent so let's create it uh, mean max where did I make mistake okay max instead of mix so it is created qctl get hpa okay so unknown you don't have to worry about we have that setting already let's describe it hpa php and now you can see here the cpu utilization threshold is set for 80 percent so whenever a uh, cpu utilization threshold reaches to 80 percent it would going to spin a new pod or new replicas right so currently it is two percent utilized since there is no load to that application uh, here you can see two percent and eighty percent so I don't want 80 because I wanted to test it right so let's edit this file go to the bottom and set it as 20 percent for now let's save this file and you can see 20 percent is the target and maximum replicas or pod is going to spin up five not more than that okay so we have created the bus application and also created the hpa so now let's test it let's have a few more terminals log into my master node in this node i'm going to run here okay I'm unable to type okay so one PHP application in this session what I'm going to do I'm going to watch HPA Twenty six percent, and I have a while loop. Right, uh, let's search that while loop. Okay, so this is the one. So uh, let's change the name and give it the IP. Okay, so I'm sending some traffic to this site against the T thousand port. Right, so let's wait for some time. And momentarily you would see when there is a lot contained is six percent when it will reach to 20 or ever you would see there are a few more pods would going to spin up right so I'm sending some traffic let's wait for a couple of minutes okay so now we can see it more than 20 percent utilize it's hundred percent and here in the down below you would be able to see that few more pods are spinning up instead of one now I have five pods for replicas so one more is going to spin so there are like five now right so max yeah so here you can see it is now five so there are five pods now spinning up because the CPU utilization is reached 
and it is way beyond 20 percent so that is how it works guys so now let's cancel the traffic oh not here here okay and let's monitor you would see once the traffic is getting reduced it is two percent now this pod would going to terminate automatically because now there is no longer traffic and the threshold is set to 20 and current utilization is 2 right so it will going to take some time it basically takes 5 minutes right so what we have to do is we will have to wait in order to find uh, the cluster that you know like we, we no longer have load and once it, it, it would figure out this pod would go away so let's wait until that happen okay so meanwhile let's understand right so we have configured HPA meanwhile this pod are getting terminate we just going to discuss a little theory HPA is nothing but horizontal auto scaling right so here it basically works in the cpu level we can also use uh, memory but for that uh, there is a different version of yaml file we'll have to use and also you can specify the number of hits to your uh, application site right uh, this is just a basic basic i showed you based on the cpu load right so you can configure hpa and when we configure it uh, in HPA what will going to happen in, instead of increasing the CPU or memory in your pod it would going to scale it it would going to spin up additional pods right that's how it works in HPA and the another one which is VPA vertical pod auto scaling in that what will going to happen when there's a load uh, it would not going to spin up an additional pod instead what would going to happen uh, the resource uh, the compute which you allocated already uh, example if you have allocated 2 GB of memory it would going to increase uh, the memory or the CPU so that's how in the VPA or the scaling works right so I'm going to show you that one anyway in my coming videos okay so let's wait it's it's running for four minutes now all these four pods so uh, probably we'll have to wait for another a minute it takes basically about uh, five minutes to find out right so let's wait until that happen okay so now you can see it's five minutes and now these three pods are getting terminated eventually it will go away right so now i have only one php apache pod running excellent so that's how your hpa is work uh, in kubernetes let me know if you guys have any issue while running or configuring hpa in your cluster i'll try to help you uh, if i could right uh, just feel free to write them in the comment section and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible Okay, so that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a good day.